Alright, uh, so today I just want to spend just two to three minutes talking about this really awesome uh, website that I found the other day that's uh, really helped me a lot uh, when it comes to Paragon Experience Grinding. Um, it's actually a properly working um, experience, uh, Paragon Experience Calculator that manages to take into account uh, all the orders of multiplication for, uh, for the uh, Paragon Experience, as you guys know, um, in, a, in a recent uh, patch, they completely changed the way that uh, that uh, experience is calculated. It's now calculated multiplicatively instead of additively. So this calculator actually manages to um, to properly tell you how much experience you're going to get depending on the monster power you're playing, uh, how many stacks of valor you have, the um, the items that you're wearing, the number of players in your group, and then the uh, equipment on your follower. So just a basic o overview of how this calculator works. Um, the first thing that is taken account in, in terms of your experience is quite simply um, it's quite simply your, your monster power. So as you can see here, my it's uh, my current bonus XP, although that's just my regular rate of experience, it's just 100%. So I'm getting normal experience now with no monster power, no stacks of valor, um, uh, no equipment on, no gems, um, and um, no people in my party, as well as no equipment on my follower. So the first thing that, that, that is taken into account is your monster power. And of course, the higher monster power you play, the uh, the greater the uh, experience you're going to have, up to 610% of normal experience when you're playing on MP10. Then the first thing we have in, uh, in the order of multiplication for, for experience gain, we have, uh, we have Nephilim Valor. So if we go to, let's, let's just say MP5, we're at 265% experience. And then of course, as you guys know, um, each stack of Nephilim Valor gives you 15% um, uh, extra experience, and this is uh, multiplicative value. So if you go to one stack of valor, that's that's times 1.15 um, experience compared to what you're getting on MP5, and then times 1.3, times 1.45, uh, times 1.6, and then times 1.7. So if you actually if you do the math, um, if you go to no stacks, you're at 265 percent. If you go to five stacks, you're at 464 percent which is 75% uh, greater. So if you do 265% times 1.75, uh, you end up with, uh, with roughly 464%. Um, and then uh, the next thing on the order of multiplication for experience is the equipment that you're using. So we've got the Hellfire Ring, which is 35%, Lorik Signet, and you can actually change the value from 20 to 30%. Um, depending on what uh, what percent experience Lorik Ring you have. Uh, the Cane Set, which I believe is also 30%, and then you have a ruby gem, and of course you can also set the value of the experience of the ruby gem. And uh, you know, if you equip your hellfire ring, there you go. You get uh, you go from 464 to 525, or you can use a lorix ring. Uh, you can you can mess around with the equipment that you have on your character. You can kind of judge whether it's worth using a hellfire ring um, versus the amount of DPS you're going to lose versus the amount of experience you're going to lose. Um, all that stuff. So. Um, you can uh, you can kind of mess around with that, and of course, then we have the number of players in your group, which is the next order of multiplication for experience. So, um, if you go to uh, two players, it's multiplied by times 1.1. Three players, it's multiplied by times 1.2, and then three uh, four players, it's multiplied times 1.3 uh, because it's 30% uh, bonus experience. And you can also kind of figure out, you know, if I'm in a good group, is it worth running with a group for the extra health that monsters have versus the extra experience that I'm getting? Or, you know, is it better to just go solo and, and not group with uh, bad people? And then finally, you kind of have your freebie, uh, the last order of multiplication here. Um, you have uh, you have the equipment on your follower, so... Um, and you could just add those. You can add a Hellfire Ring or your Lorix, and you get a little bit of freebie XP. It ends up being, you know, 464 to, like, 486, which is you know, 20, 22%. Um, but if you factor in that you already started out with 464, that's like a total of an extra, like three, three to 4% free experience. So, uh, this is a really nice calculator. If you guys are, are, are going to be, um, if you guys are going to be, uh, grinding out, uh, Paragon levels, you know, kind of, uh, you know, theory crafting or, you know, finding out, uh, what Paragon levels you want to run, what, what items you want to use, you know, whether you want to group, um, gear on your follower, all that stuff. This is a great calculator. Um, I know I've shown it on stream uh, several times. And if you guys are interested, I'll post the link to this calculator in the info section. And uh, that's pretty much it. So um, don't forget, guys, I stream on Twitch TV pretty much daily at twitch.tv slash goodideagaming. Um, and I also have a Twitter, but uh, you know I don't really use it that often. Uh, Twitter.com slash goodideagaming. If you guys want to uh, stop by the Twitch, follow the stream, follow Twitter, um, that'd be awesome, and of course, uh, don't forget to uh, to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you guys enjoy the videos. So thanks again, everyone. 
Hope you enjoyed. Hope it was helpful. And uh, I will see you soon.